Let's see how we did. There's some emotional investment with this one. Take it bit by bit. First thing up. Vintage type. LT Toys saucer on wheels and I believe one can state that it's vintage by the uh, wheel hubs being closed rather than open took somebody had to stick the axles through and, and glue them to another wheel to get them in there the approach was later simplified with a peg-in system that didn't need adhesive at least I think that's the formula for it with these made somewhat earlier and lo and behold, from a Palamon Exploring 304G. With a nice flag. And it's the... Uh, Based on an early NASA prototype for a moon exploration device. Moon Prospector toy. Here's the one that's still sealed. In an Apollo Moon Exploring set. I think it's 304G. It's missing an antenna for the top, and I've got a couple. Not a problem. And there's a nice Major Matt Mason. The Recano Jet, or is it Recano Jet 2? Way sized down and totally simplified. And I'd had an example previously, and this new arrival, ooh, quite the track performer. This new arrival is missing its antenna array on the top, which is not a problem with me at all. I believe we all had Major Matt Mason figures as a kid uh, with a cat track to go with it. And I had the uh, survival tent too. Um, those are long gone. I've replaced what I remember having as a kid. And there's another video on that. But I never had any of the larger vehicles. I'd like to have the crawler, but the rest of them, you know, this is good enough. It's like, hey, it's Major Matt Mason, a little mini one. That's cool. Awesome score. And here's another miniaturized Major Matt Mason uh, rocket launching sled. This one's nicely intact. Here's my previous example of it behind it. It's even a little bit wider. Here's a catalog image of the real thing. It, it actually lies flat on the floor. And as you can tell, LP changed the proportional relationship between the figure and the platform. I don't think there's any markings on any. There's certainly no LP Toys logos. Here we have, I think there's four of them. Uh, miniaturized. 30 millimeter near HO scale. LP Toys figures, a yellow, a green, an orange, and a very nice white. So these may have actually been made by LP because there's a certain amount of, of care went into the sculpting. The ones that were bagged up with the little lunar modules and the Apollo cake decoration sets are, are, are very rough and sloppy. These are actually okay, although since they're not marked, there's no way to know for sure who made them. Ash, can you see this? Two Keensey Apollo type lunar landing miniature place set. Mark's Toys Astronauts. And we've got a camera guy floating in space, like this one here from the set with the space camper. And even more, this 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 is what convinced me that I absolutely had to have it. It's uh what is it, 30 millimeter painted white body painted face pilot feet. Alright, there. I prepared a seat for him out of a stack of pennies. Um, and he's, he's sitting a little bit higher than the green one from Mystery Spaceship 
but you can see there how he is even smaller than the green one and I can't think for the life of me how they used it in one of these sets but apparently they did Mark's Toys cameraman in spacewalking configuration painted details behind him here is the full-size 60 millimeter version of it from Operation Moonbase and only shrunk down to uh, smaller dimensions for these sets. Uh, the, the, this pose was not included for whatever reason. They didn't include this with the Mystery Spaceship or Space Ranger where they did with the seated pilot figure, his arm out there in the typical Werner Von Braun pose. Um, but this is the only way the only way to get this figure in a reduced size is one, is one of these sets. Usually they're just tied down by marks at, at the factory so that the young owners could, could remove them and play with them if they want. A previous owner had removed them and they were retied down using black sewing thread, which is not correct for Mark's factory. Should be a, a, a natural colored twine, um, but they didn't just tie them back down, they glued them in place. So there's no way to get these spacemen out of there without ruining the printing. Let's take a closer look since these are, or at least this guy here is such a rarity. No markings. Looks like maybe he'd been glued down to someone's set too that paper residue on the bottom. Interesting. The things that people will do to have their little plastic spacemen, you know? Half painted face, just paint just gobbed on there, probably with a brush that was just way too big for it. Ash, can you see this? That they had to make a new mold or a new model to, to impression a mold with, and its detailing is so well create well translated from the one to thirty two scale figure is impressive. Whoa. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> 